Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To. And on today's video, we'll be doing a USB flash on our ASUS Tough Gaming B560 Plus Wi Fi. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to do a BOSS update on our ASUS Tough Wi Fi Pro B560, whatever the name is, I always get it wrong. So used to say in the X570 Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. So what are we going to need to actually update the BIOS? Now this particular board doesn't have any means of kind of USB flashback, so we will need to have an operational system, so you will need a compatible processor to start with. This essentially is more for updating the BIOS, so say for instance, much like a lot of other people that are probably watching this video now, you're trying to get Windows 11 running on your Tough Gaming motherboard, B560, from ASUS, and you're really struggling with it. So ASUS, in their wisdom, have actually released a brand spanking new BIOS, which actually resets everything so that the BIOS is set up ready to install Windows 11 straight out the gate. So literally, all you need to do is to get your USB stick, update the BIOS, and then get another USB stick with Windows 11 on it, and you can install straight away without having to tweak TPM settings, uh, secure boot, and all those kinds of things. So they've taken a lot of the guesswork out of it. So let's go ahead now and download the new BIOS and flash it to our system. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop, so the first thing we're going to do is to uh, put in our USB drive into the computer. And as you can see, there is actually a BIOS on there already, so let's go ahead and we'll delete that one. And what we could do just to be on the safe side is go in and format the drive. So we'll choose Format, and FAT32 is what it needs to be for this particular instance and send it to the default allocation size. If there's a volume label, I would suggest getting rid of that. It doesn't really make a great deal of difference, but some boards do uh, have issues with volume labels. So anyway, click on start and it will format the drive. Obviously, if there's anything you need, get another drive and or transfer the data over. When you're happy, just click OK. So then we get format complete. So that is our USB drive ready to go. USB drive on this, because we're not doing USB flashback, it is just into a USB port. Essentially, you can use any drive that supports FAT32. So pretty much no limitations there on file size. Anyway, let's move on and get our BIOS update. So let's open up a Chrome browser and we're gonna to wanna to search for our motherboard. So that's the ASUS B560 Tough. That should be enough. And there we are, Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. Obviously make sure you do get the right one for your particular board. I'll put all the links for this in the video description anyway, so if you're not entirely sure where you need to go, then you can just click on the links. So this is our board, do a quick visual check. Yep, make sure it's the right one. B560 Plus Wi-Fi, yep, looks like the real deal. And what we're gonna do is click on the support tab up here. Uh, we can accept cookies if you want to. And in the support tab, we want to go to drivers and tools and then BIOS and firmware. So looking at the BIOS section, it just shows the latest one at the top there. So what you can do is you can see all downloads. So you can see how old your particular version is. Now, I'm pretty sure the version we've got at the moment is 8020, which is this one here, which is released 29th of the 4th, 2021. But there's a newer version there from the 5th to the 8th. So as you see there, Tough Gaming, B460 Plus Wi-Fi, BOSS 1017, support Windows 11 by default, no settings changes required in the UEFI BIOS. Sounds absolutely perfect. I'm gonna download me some of that. So click on download, save it to somewhere that you can actually find it. So I'm just gonna save it to the desktop, seems easy enough. And that is pretty much all we need to do here. So I'll minimize this window. There it is our file. So we need to right click and choose extract all. Yours may look slightly different if you don't have uh, WinRAR, or WinZip or whatever installed. It may just look like a compressed folder, but do make sure you extract it. Extract to the default location, and then it will give you either a folder or it'll open straight up. So we have got BIOS Renamer. Uh, this isn't really necessary. All we need is this file here. So this is our BIOS file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that one. We're gonna choose Cut. And then we're gonna go to our USB drive and we're gonna right click and we're gonna choose Paste. I do like the new cut and paste for Windows 11. Very nice. Obviously you can still use the usual things. So uh, using the control keys like Control and V to paste, et cetera, et cetera. Or you can drag and drop. The choice is pretty much up to you. Anyway, that is our file transferred, so we can close these windows now and we can remove our drive and go over to the other PC. Okay, so now we're ready. We've got our USB on the drive, ready to go. 
We've got our system, now we're actually fired up at the moment into the existing BIOS, we're in the time and date setting, but we can uh, come out of there, just press escape and go back to the kind of the default menu. So I put the USB stick into one of the USB 2.0 ports on the back of which there are three, and those are color coded, so choose the black ones. You've also got blue and you've got a green one. Don't use those, use the USB 2.0 ones. So I'm gonna plug that in there. And what we're gonna to wanna to do now is you probably, if your BIOS isn't already on it, you can use the F7 key to change between the default BIOS and also the enhanced BIOS. Uh, for this, I would suggest go into advanced mode, so F7. Then we wanna head over to tool on the top here. You can use your keyboard and mouse within the BIOS. It is fully UEFI compatible. So go over to tool and you've got options there for the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. Now you'll probably notice underneath that as well, we've also got the option for a BIOS image rollback support. So what this will actually allow you to do, if it, you have it enabled, this will actually allow you to install a older Flash version. So say for instance, you've installed this new Windows 11 BIOS, but then you decide later on, actually I'm just gonna stick with the Windows 10 PC for my next installation, or perhaps you're selling the board on or returning or whatever the case may be, you can actually install an older BIOS version if you leave this enabled. If you switch to disabled, this will only ever allow you to update the BIOS to a newer version. So that possibly is worth bearing in mind. Also as well, if you're having problems flashing an older BIOS and you didn't realize this, then do make sure that you have got that uh, enabled or disabled or whichever is appropriate for your particular needs. Anyway, way too much waffling, let's get on and go into the Easy Flash 3. So straight away we can go in and it gives you all the details of your existing BIOS, all that kind of stuff. So currently we're on version 8020, or sorry, 0820 with the BIOS date, etc. And it's already actually found the BIOS file already. So all we need to do is to click on that. And Easy Flash will ask you, do you want to read this file? And yes, we do. We're happy with that. So click on yes. And then it says, do you really want to update BIOS? If for some reason it doesn't say that, then it's potentially because you've actually downloaded the wrong BIOS, in which case go back, retract your steps, make sure you've got the right motherboard, etc., etc. But we're happy, and 1017 is the one we were expected to see, so we can go ahead and click on yes. And then it just goes through and does what it needs to do. Now at this point, I would say hands away from keyboard and mouse, don't touch or do anything, don't plug anything into the board, try to actually move anything if you can possibly help it. The, uh, the minimal things you have running is gonna be great. Don't turn off the power supply because you will potentially brick the board. You don't want to be doing that. Uh, most warranties will not cover that kind of thing. You, yeah, that is down to the individual, but certainly I would say if you can use some sort of UPS device, uninterrupted power supply, or even some sort of surge protected socket is always worth doing. Because at this particular point, this is where things can go drastically wrong. And again, because we don't have any clear, obvious way of recovering BOSS with USB flashback, if this goes wrong, we are, yeah, we're pretty screwed. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this carry on doing its thing. It should take around about five or six minutes in total. Probably enough time to uh, go make a cup of tea and uh, then we can come back at the very end. Okay, so when it comes towards the very end, then we'll get this message on the screen and it's saying that the system is gonna reboot itself, which uh, yeah, it's uh, gone ahead and doing and it's currently rebooting. See the lights come on. You do have your diagnostic LEDs on the motherboard on the top as well, so if you're not too sure what is going on, then you can certainly check out all those things on there. But essentially, yeah, a couple of reboots. It should be absolutely fine. Normally it'll do one or two just to kind of make sure the BIOS is ready. And yeah, just uh, just play the waiting game. Our Clev RGB RAM is just illuminated, so that's a good sign. And we've got our Tough Gaming logo on the screen. Now this is something that you'll see the first time that you either power up the system for the first time or after flashing the BIOS on this particular board, especially because the way that the board uses power management. So all the power management features or the power restrictions, I should say, for the Intel chipset on this particular board have been overridden by ASUS's own kind of, um, well, optimized performance. And if you do want to abide by Intel's own specifications, then you will need to turn off uh, APE 2.0, which is the uh, ASUS performance enhancer, etc does give you a message on the screen you can probably read that for yourselves if you want to go any further you do have to press f1 this is something which caught me out the first time i tried using the bars and the first time i've seen the screen it's like okay yeah I, I get that i just read the bottom bit saying next you will enter ufei settings so i just press the space bar and yeah nothing happens at all enter nothing at all so you think oh damn the system's crashed or dead or your keyboard's not working 
but it isn't, you do have to press F1. So we'll press F1 and there we go. It will go straight into the boss. So then you can reconfigure what you need to do. So um, we did have our RAM set to DDR4-3600. It has actually disabled XMP and effectively it has reset the boss back to its defaults. So any settings you change, boot order, etc., you probably will need to do. So we'll enable XMP. Uh, obviously things like QFAN control. So if you've set up fan profiles, you'll need to go in and change those as well also. We are gonna do a follow-up video on this to uh, go through the BIOS and all the settings on this particular board in the new Windows 11 BIOS, just so you can see how it's configured and settings you may need to tweak or change for your particular systems. So anyway, that is the BIOS flash. We're up to date and it's worked successfully, which is always a bonus. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to smash the like button. And also if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and chime icon and you'll get more content like this in your daily feed. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.